A Glorious Moment Heaven Letter Number 5596 March 21, 2016 I heard someone say this morning that this is a glorious moment in the world. I agree. It is always at every moment, isn't it, that there is a glorious new opening in the world. Always room for more and more and more, and infinitely more. There are no limits because there is infinity and no limits. Every day there is an infinity of new flowers opening up the whole world, new stars bursting into flames of joy. Every day, you, whoever you are, star or sun, moon in the night sky, or moon reflected on the lake, newborn or not yet born, or one of many moons, it matters not, you blossom under my embrace. Just think of it. You blossom under my embrace. God's beloveds without limit blossom under God's embrace. There is never a time that you are not embraced. You, my children, blossom. You blossom, and I am surged with energy. This is what love does. It surges energy. Whose love energy is it anyways, yours or mine? It is inevitably the energy of love, and it is ours, and we toss it to the world free form. Here it comes. Love tossed to the world. Better than baseball is this tossing of love. It is a mutual tossing. Who throws it? Who catches it? The energy is everywhere. The energy transcends everything. Certainly it transcends petty arguments. There is nothing like this energy of love to overtake the world. Now, I will say, and I will say more than as a metaphor, that the energy of love is like a thousand stars. Actually, all the energy of love in the world surpasses all the star's diamonds. A thousand horses galloping do not have enough energy to equal the love of one human heart. Beloveds, you are caught in the light of the stars. You transcend the stars at the same time you are caught up in them. You are ebullient in the light of the stars and the sunlight, for you are the lit up horizon from all directions. You are the clarion call of love. You are certainly not absent from love. Love walks on the stars. Love easily traverses the universe and back again, and takes you with it. There is no other place for you to be. Whose love is this? It is ours. Our love travels the airwaves. It matters not from what direction it comes. It is love, and the light of love rises every day. It reunites hearts that have always been united. If you could see the light in your eyes, if you could see, if you could but see, you would know that you are nothing but love. You and love are one. There is no containing the love in your heart, and that includes me and all the love I imbue you with. You do contain me, and you give me away all at once. Love is like a sneeze in that you must let love out to follow its course. You cannot caretake love. Love needs no governance. Love desires to be let out and not follow anything but the formlessness of all the love in the world itself. If you could see beyond the surface mounds and nils, you would see love abounding. Wherever you look, you would see love apparent. Wherever you look, you would see love assuming the throne. Wherever you look, there is nothing but love flying and zooming every which way. Love on the horizon, love in the works, love dancing and dance on air. You leap up a lighted stairway or starway, your fingers are lit up, and your toes are lit as well. There is nothing to be seen but light. Indeed, you are the love light of my heart. There is nothing else. Did you really think there was? Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org